Lifestyle University Mixology 101. My name is Eric. I am the bartender at the Cactus Grill in Val Vista Villages. This is June edition and our spirit we'll be featuring is gin. Um, the gin I will be using will be Tangeray. Um, I'll be doing two different cocktails. I'll be using the same one for both. Uh, gin is um, originated from Holland. Um, unless you consider the Italian 11th century monks, they were using juniper berries um, to still um, put in with spirits that they were using. Um, but the original birthplace that everybody is uh, going back to is Holland. Um, Dangere is a uh, dry gin. And a dry gin, which means that it's double distilled. Um, there's different types of gins you can use for different types of drinks, um, but I uh, prefer the Tangeray, the dry gin, and I believe it works well with both our um, featured cocktails. Um, the first one we're going to do is uh, Tom Collins. Um, it's a very well-known drink, very refreshing, great for after brunch drink. Um, it is a featured drink in our specialties at the Cactus Grill. So it's something that you may have seen or tried that you've had at the grill. Our next one is a Garden Delight. That cocktail is kind of a, not a drink that you would go out, you go into a restaurant, you're going to see on the menu very often. It's just something we put together with different ingredients. It's a, it's a sweeter drink. Um, so it's a little bit different um, than you may be used to having with a gin. Now the gin, once it's distilled and the flavoring that you get, um, the grain alcohol that it's with can be with uh, uh, juniper, cinnamon, almond, licorice, um, different types of the berries that get distilled in with that grain alcohol to get that gin flavor. Um, the drink that we're going to start with, the Tom Collins, and I'm going to be um, using a Tom Collins glass. The ingredients are going to be uh, two ounces of gin, and we're going to do one ounce of uh, fresh lemon juice. We'll be doing a half an ounce of simple syrup, and then we will garnish it uh, with an orange and finish it off with club soda. So I'm going to end up actually putting it into a mixer. Now you don't need to mix it and pour right into the glass. Um, I'm going to do that just to get everything together and then what I'll do is I'll pour it over ice um, just so everything mixes together. If you prefer or don't have a mixer, you can put everything into your glass with your ice and you can also just stir it and it will mix just fine. So first thing I need to do is cut my lemon for my fresh lemon juice. I've got a measuring cup just so I know once I pour it into my mixer that I'm doing the right amount. And since it's only one ounce, a half a lemon will probably do the trick. And what I'll do is probably wrap that up, save it for another drink. We have our um, chop measure pour. So I'm going to start and I'm going to do two ounces. This is a one and a half, this is a two ounce jigger that I'm using. So we're going to go with two ounces of the tangerine. And then we're going to do one ounce. And once again, once you're pouring these in, you want to pour it over your glass that way if there's anything spilled off it will go into the glass you want to uh, waste any of your alcohol now we're going to do add the simple syrup to it we'll use our 
one and a half side, so I'm going to pour that halfway up into the glass. Now we're going to top it off with club soda. I didn't put any ice in there as I didn't want any of the water melting into the ice. So actually what I'm going to do, I'm just going to add the ice and I'll do two versions of it and I'll do with a stir just so you can see how that comes out and how it looks once you stir it into the glass. This was just mainly so I didn't, um, so I got the mix into the glass first. So I'm going to pour it into the glass. Oh, wow, good measure. And then let's give it a little stir. Okay, now that you have your drink finished, um, I like to garnish my Tom Collins with a little piece of orange. I think a lot of places that you go you get in the Tom Collins just because it's gin a lot of them will um, garnish things with a lime but for some reason I kind of like the orange garnish into it. Very simple, very easy type of drink. And there you go. That is your Tom Collins. Very simple drink to make at home. Um, you can enjoy that, like I said, any time of day. It's very refreshing. Great summer drink. Okay. Our next one is going to be more of a sweeter type drink to go with gin. Um, a lot of gins, especially being a, a, a dry uh, spirit, there are certain things you can do to kind of lift it up a little bit, make it a little bit sweeter, maybe make it a, a more popular drink with somebody who likes a sweeter drink with more flavors and sugars and things like that. I'm going to be using my Boston shaker. The ingredients in this one is going to be Midori. Midori is a uh, Japanese liqueur. It uses um, Japanese melons. It's now made all over the country, or all, I should say all over the world, but it originated in Japan. It's got a uh, melon flavor. They use a lot of Japanese melons, and uh, that's how they get the flavor, but it definitely has a um, melon flavor to it. With that, I'm going to be using again the Tangare. This will be mixed with tonic. My garnish is going to be a cucumber, um, which I'm going to put in the drink and as a garnish. If you've ever had, I love cucumber water. If you ever had that, it's kind of uh, gives you that um, refreshing flavor, and then we'll add the sweetness from the melon. Um, also, another thing I'm going to be doing is muddling some mint inside of this drink. This uh, muddler that I have here is just a wooden muddler. If you do not have one and you're trying to get the, the most out of your mint, you can just put it in a bag and smash it with a hammer even, just to kind of bring out the mint flavor. You, just, you don't need to bruise it. All you need to do is just tap it three or four times and you'll be good. I'm going to put, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I've got this fresh mint here, which actually, at buying this at the store, as you can see, turned out to be much more refreshing. You can get them in those little plastic pla uh, packages. Um, they've already cut them up. They're sitting in that package. Um, it won't stay fresh, I believe, as long. Once you've used this, you can, you can keep this in a bag, pull it out as needed. Usually something like this um, can last you up to about 10 days if you're planning on uh, using it for other
cooking, drinks. So I've got three or four of the leaves, just the leaf parts of the mint, and I'm going to place it in here. Nothing else in your shaker. You just want to put the mint inside that, and I'm just going to press down and turn. I'm going to do it this about, like I said, three or four times, making sure I get each one in there. Because you don't want to bruise the mint and lose the flavor. And I can tell you, you will know when you've got that flavor release. Because right now, this whole room it smells like mint. Okay. I'm going ahead and go ahead and add a little bit of ice into this one. Just a little bit of ice into this one for the mixture. Alright, so we're going to go ahead, we're going to be using the two outside for both the Midori and for the gin, Tangeray gin. It smells really good if you like mint and melons. All right, so now we've got both of those in there. going to give this a little bit of shake. You don't want to shake it too much because you've already muddled the mint in there. So I just want to give it just a couple shakes. And this is where I'm going to add in um, cucumber. I'm just going to add a couple slices into there just to give it a little bit more flavor. And just so it fits well into the glass. I'm going to go ahead and slice these thin and then I'm just going to cut them in half. And obviously you can put as many slices in there as you want just for how much flavor you want. You'll have to uh, go ahead and put a little bit of mount in there and then you're like, oh, I really love that cucumber flavor or I really like that mint flavor and you can always um, add in more. You can put it up, put more into the shaker, put more mint in there, put a little cucumber in there, put your drink back in there, shake it back together, and pour it back in the glass just to give yourself a little bit more, a little bit more flavor if you choose to. Now I don't want to strain this because I have the mint in there, so I actually want to take off the top so it's not a strain. Pour that mixture in there and once you have that in there now we're going to top it off with tonic once I have the tonic in there and I'm just going to give it a slight little stir of the cucumber. Give it a nice stir. Once you've completed all that, I always like to garnish my drink. And I'm going to just garnish this one with cucumber. Now you have what we call a garden delight with uh, mint, cucumber, uh, Midori, Tangeray, a little 
nice, very refreshing drink. And those were, those are your two June gin cocktails. I hope you enjoyed that and uh, go ahead and give that a try this summer. I think you'll be quite happy with that. Thank you for watching our mixology video and look forward to uh, July. Have a nice day.